Hi, and welcome to this look at finding out the enthalpy of neutralization using a graphical method. So it gives you an idea of what was done, quite a simple setup using a polystyrene cup and a thermometer clamped so that the bulb is suspended within the liquid. So it tells you after two minutes, 35 centimeters cubed of one mole per decimeter cubed HCl was steadily added to 25 centimeters cubed of one mole per decimeter cubed NaOH. The mixture was constantly stirred and the temperature recorded every 20 seconds for up to 320 seconds. So when you put it through a graph in Excel, uh, this is what it gives you. And first of all, I'm going to work out um, the moles of everything. So the number of moles of HCl is 0.035 moles, and the number of moles of NaOH is 0.025 moles. So clearly, the number of moles of HCl is in excess. So we want to do Q equals mc delta t to work out the heat change. So the way to do this is to take an extrapolation of the cooling curve, which is on the Excel graph, and I'll show you where you get that from. So the pink lines give you the two lines of best fit, and the highest point that the extrapolation backwards gets to, which is here, this um, amount in degrees Celsius on the y-axis is your delta T. So it works out at 5.5. It's an increase of 5.5 degrees. So that's where the 5.5 comes in as delta T. Obviously, 60 is the 25 plus the 35 together. So it gives us 1.3794 kilojoules, obviously, converting from the joules that comes out of the calculator into kilojoules, which is what you need to use to work out delta mu H. So Going back to our equation, what we're interested in is the moles of water that's made. So looking at our two um, moles of HCl and NaOH, so the limiting factor is going to con uh, control how much H2O is made. So that means it's 0.025 moles of water made. So del delta nu to H is Q, or minus Q, because it's a rise in temperature being an exothermic reaction in kilojoules divided by the number of moles of H2O, which is minus 1.3794 divided by 0 0.025 equals minus 55.176. The actual standard expected value is minus 57, so that's not too far off it. Okay, thanks for listening. Until next time, see you soon.